All my life, I've been passionate about water and the sea. As a child, I was always sailing, and I liked to play with anchors, see how they dig into the seabed and hold ships in place against the currents. What better start could I have had to later develop floating tidal energy? Imagine we create energy a different way, independent of faraway resources. No health and safety concerns, no emissions. Wouldn't that be great? This picture shows an installation for the testing of tidal turbines in the Orkneys, north of Scotland. Let's have a look at the power of water when it flows around this structure, which is fixed to the seabed. Tidal energy is a large, untapped resource. It is very powerful. It is safe and clean. It is the only form of energy caused by the moon, mainly, causing large masses of water to flow around in the oceans. Tidal currents are very predictable. The water flows six hours one way and six hours the other way. And this goes on day and night. It never turns off. Here we see the power it can produce. As you can see, it works with the water flowing in either direction. The time difference between the peak and zero is just three hours. This is interesting, because when we store some of the energy when the water is at peak speed, and we use that when the tide is turning, the result is a continuous, predictable power. This is unique for new energies. This is a whole industry in the making. Developers around the world are trying to come up with the best technology. It's very exciting. It's all cutting edge. At this moment, there's less than 10 single turbines placed in the oceans for testing. There are no commercial farms. There is no operational experience. Until now, the general idea is to take a windmill and place it on the seafloor. We believe the turbines are great. However, playing them on, uh, placing them on the bottom of the sea, we find challenging. How to inspect and maintain them? We humans, we naturally float at the surface. It's hard to go up in the air and even harder to go all the way down underwater. In fact, we humans have walked on the moon but no one ever walked on the bottom of the deepest ocean. Therefore, we choose to do something different. We take that windmill and we hold it upside down in the water. We hold it from the top. So now we have easy access to it. So we are developing a unique floating platform. It can hold various turbines from the surface. It is of open architecture, so it can use any type of turbine. These floating platforms are anchored like ships. The current flows underneath them and rotate the turbines. The turbines drive a generator and the electricity is transported to the shore through a cable. Thanks to being at the surface, we have resolved many of the issues the industry is facing. It's easier to install, we can move them around, and we have easy access for, installation, for, ex, uh, for inspection and maintenance. It also captures more energy, so the result is lower cost, lower risk, and higher production. No pollution, no brainer, right? The power of water is immense. It is 800 times denser than air, and each unit produces one megawatt, enough to power 500 homes. We can install them as single units, or we can multiply them and install tens or hundreds of them in large farms. They're easily scalable because each unit floats the same all over the world, in shallow or in deep water. Is tidal energy new? Well, to have water rotate a turbine, no, that's not new. 
But to do that out in the oceans, where the large potentials are, yes, that is new. And it's very challenging and complicated. Because they need to survive the strongest waves and currents. What's difficult about that? Well, the forces of the oceans are enormous. The sea destroys everything. To make things survive out there, that's a challenge. To make them maintainable out there, that's an art. We at Blue Water are experts in mooring floating platforms far away in the oceans. We design, build and operate those for the oil and gas industry. We never bring them into port. We do all the maintenance, always at sea, in a safe way. And with our technology and experience, we want to bring tidal energy to life and let the sea create. Create clean energy. How cost-effective is tidal energy? Well, like all new technologies, it's more expensive in the beginning. And we expect to take five to ten years to build an acceptable level of costs and build a healthy business. And there's something very special about all these new energies using water, wind and the sun. They are inherently clean. They have to offer to us humans a great opportunity because they don't pollute in the first place. So we save ourselves the trouble of cleaning up and filtering emissions and hiding waste at places where you can't see it. So, I believe they will be cheaper in the long run. And they can provide more energy than we need. The potentials are proven. We only need to develop the technology. How do we make that possible? I would like to tell you a little story about a colony of flies. When one of the flies found food, he made signals with his wings. The others would see those and go towards the food. Some of the flies, however, they seemed not to understand it. They always flew the wrong way and dispersed into various directions. What was wrong with these guys? It was investigated and it was found that those funny flies, they were programmed to go in different directions, to look for other things. They were key for the future of the colony. If they would be removed, they did not bring in any food, but if they would be removed, the colony would cease to exist on the long term. So, support your funny flies. Dedicate some of your resources to allow them to do their silly work. If we support all the developers of new energies to continue the work they do, then we can have it all in the future. Sufficient, yes, abundant, Clean energy. Thank you.